What is up, everyone? Before we jump into the practice vlog on Lake Cayuga, I want to let you guys know I will be in Knoxville this weekend, Saturday the 20th, um, at the Academy at 145 Mossgrove Boulevard between 12 and 3 p.m. This is the thing. I'm literally going through all this stuff, actually, in my um, in my in my boat, and I'm actually going to bring a couple goodies for y'all. So hopefully, if you're around the area, you get to stop by. You say what's up. Um, it's sort of the inaugural moment of uh, all my my actually signature series pair of Wiley X sunglasses going into um, some of the academies and, and we're selling them there. So anyway, so if you guys are around the area, stop by. If you uh, aren't around the area and you want to come on, I, I'm gonna pro I'm gonna bring some stuff. So I don't know how much I'll have. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm just letting you guys know. I'm gonna bring y'all a few goodies. If you guys seen this on the video, you'll know what's up, and I'll have some stuff stashed away for y'all. So anyway, hope everybody's having a good one. On to the video. What is up, my friends? Welcome back. Tournament season is back. We had like a two month, um, what do you call that? Mm. What do you call that? Two month Hi. sabbatical. Sabbatical, right? Hi. What's a sabbatical? Sabbatical. Sabbatical's like when you go like, ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, so long story short, we're just back and I uh, got all the guys here. Adrian is still coming. Uh, he's got his way, well, he's on his way here. Um, good little setup. We got, might, might have a little bit of fun with that basketball hoop. I do think it is broken, so might have a slam dunk contest. I got the guys in the shade. They stole the spot. So anyway, we are on Lake Cayuga this week, and there is a lot of stuff going to probably be going on. Now that is Lake, I think, Owasco or something like that. Lake right next to Cayuga, and I think it is pronounced Cayuga with a C-A-Y Cayuga, not Cayuga. Cayuga. I'm most positive about that. I've been watching some videos, and that's how I think it is. If I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below, but we have a meeting to go to here in just about 10 minutes. So we're going to uh, jump. I think it's Mark's turn to actually drive. So we're going to hop in the truck, head out to the meeting, and then get ready for this one. Stage number six should be a lot of fun. All right. Go ahead, bro. No, no, you're good. So we're on the road, getting ready to go to the meeting. And real quick here, I was wrong with sabbatical. I just looked it up. It was, it's like a year at least. So it's as that is. For every seven years, I guess, if you're like, you're paid, yeah. you, get, you get like, I guess, like, technically, you get like a one year paid leave, like to okay. go study something. Or like, be, I, long story short, I was wrong. I took a break. We took a break. What was the name of that thing? You said? A sabbatical. sabbatical. So I've never heard of that in my life. You never heard of a sabbatical, Mark? You heard of sabbatical? Yeah, sabbatical leave. I've heard of it. Sabbatical leave. I didn't know what it meant, though. Sabbatical. Here's a period of no. paid leave granted to a university teacher or other worker for study or travel. Now, that's the thing. I know people that are on Under Armour that are on sabbatical. I know people that are on Academy that are on sabbatical. I mean, like Nike that are on sabbatical. Like, yeah. So I don't think it's necessarily just a university. Traditionally, one year for every seven years work. Well. So that's where it is. So there you go. So hey, you know what be the deal? It's like taking the year off, getting you know, so you stuff together, and that's what we did. Just this was that's what we it's did. It's basically what it was. <laughs> we took a baby sabbatical. That is. So anyway, so we're about we're about to head. All right, Adrian is not here yet. He actually took a tuna trip this morning. Shocker. Hey, a bean is wildin', bro. Adrian, are you a bass fisherman or a saltwater guy? My boy's a captain. He is a captain. If he brings up I'm the captain. Now. Oh. I'm the captain. <laughs> if he brings scallops, I'm in. Oh, hold up. We got to text him on that. Keep no, he did, he did it. I don't think he's going to. Or is, is he? Keep bringing scallops. All right, Adrian. You know you got to do that. Scallops anyway, so so we're going to do this without Adrian because Adrian knows it's all like $5,000. I think is what it is from all the <laughs> unpaid over-under bets that we've had over the years. He hey, DZ collect, actually owes collect, me 7000 though. Yeah, Adrian collects yeah. his. He's a, he's a bill collector. If you hey, you lose the Vena, he come and get that. Hey, you know what, low key, Adrian could be really good working at the IRS if he doesn't. Oh, there's nice. nothing else works oh, for him. He's a dick collector. Yeah. So, this is the thing. Cayuga, we we've all not really fished Cayuga that much. Um, I think DC and I fished a cup event there, championship round. We both sucked. I think he finished like seventh. I finished eighth behind him. So we both were like at the bottom of the list. <laughs> I'm hoping that's not the outcome this week, but uh, we have a little time to prep and a little time to practice. So, this is the thing. We're going to throw a shot in the dark. No money. I right, know. Five bucks. Five, five dollars, dollars, man. Who's betting on that? Over or under? A gallon of gas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Over or under? Big fit. Or no, I'm going to say big fish. Over or under on cut weight. Group A, group B. Mark, I'm putting you on the spot. All right. For group A. And then, no, just all over overall. Oh, together. Just straight together. up. Together. Uh, straight up. Cut weight. 
cut weight? Over under. Over 40 pounds. So, so you're just gonna say, so you're gonna cut the 40 weight, 40 pound weight? Or you, you gotta make the weight. No, I gotta make the number. Yeah, you could be like, oh, it's gonna be over oh, two pounds. Damn. I'm gonna okay. win. Oh, damn, I'll try to, I'll try to stack the odds in my favor. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Cause so, I so, actually, I think Mark did it last time. I'm a, I'm a, no, no, Adrian and I did it the first time. I got one, hold on, I got it. Okay, so you got the, the cut. It's gonna be yeah, let me get a oh. 46 pounds. Oh my gosh. That's pounds. the weight. He's, he's I'm, rude. I'm, I'm gonna say under. I'm gonna say under. I'm gonna say. It ain't been 46 pounds in two days since like Sturgis Bay last year. 46. Yeah, it was way harder than that, wasn't it? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say over. 46 pounds. Say over. Jacob's saying over. There's some all unbelievable bass fishing on KU Go, but I'm not sure exactly if it's that good. We're going to find it's out. It's only $5, so I'm going over. Heck with it. Let's uh, ride. I'm going to say 45. <laughs> okay, there you go. We're going to find out. All right, Hibachi for us tonight. Here we go. Let's see what's up. <laughs> Oh, all right good morning good morning everybody we um we skipped down on filming day one of practice so gonna give you a little bit of update we're uh getting ready to start day two and, and it, it wasn't actually all that bad had a decent day of practice not a great one um today i just have to expand this is the thing i'm I'm, there are, like I said, there are small mouth in this lake. Um, and I have to figure out if I want to target some of those, but overall probably mostly focus on the large mouth. There's not a lot of grass. So the areas overall that the bass are in, to, the, a lot of these fish are relating to grass. And so there's not a lot of it. I mean, it looks like there might be some, like, you know, like, it, but like a, when you look at it, like, oh man, this lake's got a ton of grass. But what I'm talking about is really like, like key grass, like the right kind of grass and set up right. So, we think MDJ. Man, we need to find us some bass, boys. It's looking grim out there for you, boy. Oh, and I'm holy mo. There we go. We gotta find Whoa. some bass, man. Okay, there we go. ASAP. There we go. Clear. Yeah. So this is the thing. Okay, DC and I said this. Okay, a wad. We gotta find a wad. We need a wad. Find a wad, you get paid. You get paid, baby. <laughs> hey, a wad bring a wad. Straight up. So look, I'm wad hunting today. Cause yesterday I did not find a. Now the thing is, all right, all right. I know, freaking no joke. Did you, do you feel like I feel like this grass is a little bit jacked up from like? I mean, I was here in June just for like a little bit, and I ran around just for a little bit. And there's grass everywhere. It's almost topped out. Yeah. And I was like, and then I got out here, you know, this week, and I'm like, they might have thrown some pellets or something out there. I don't know. It's weird because I do think there's some like, there's um there's some lakes that. I don't know. But I don't think they, I don't think they spray anything here, but I think a lot of it comes down to like algae blooms. Yeah. And when that algae bloom gets up, then that light penetration doesn't get down as far. Right. And those weeds like die Start off. Start breaking off. Yeah. I think, I think that's really the biggest thing. Yeah. Because I don't. I mean, New York's pretty good about like now they harvest like with See, the big. I think that one might have happened too. They, a lot they, of, they do that. A lot of them clumps is really thick and dense, but and they're, they're like just, two foot underwater, yes. three foot underwater. So yeah. they might have came through, cut the tops off. Yeah. Which, whatever, fish still there and they, they use it, you just can't visually see it. It makes and, it a little bit harder. And it's harder for to, to concentrate them because everything's the same at that exactly. point in time. Exactly. Where like, if you have like, you know, a thicker clump, a thinner clump, like where it's all like flat and two foot tall. Right. You're just like, they like, where, where, where to throw? Exactly. You don't know. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna give you guys a rundown today. Yeah, Hopefully I can take you out there and real come back then. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm not trying to be like skiers. I promise. It's the only igloo cup that I had. <laughs> the yellow one. I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna, after today, I'm gonna wash this thing. I'm gonna just set it on Skeet's big giant truck and just, you could have it. <laughs> So 
that we just got out here. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Welcome to Kayuga, my friends. So, mm, that right there is what we're looking for. Right like, there, just grass. Grass, little clumps. Just dragging around. I, I, I have to be honest with you, it's, it's not much fun to just drag around. I'm not big on, oh, there he is. Little, sitting in that little clump. Oh, come on. There you go, there you go. All right, well we got a bite. First bite of the morning. Just drag around. Getting where I feel like I'm starting to get, I'll start getting some bites. Beautiful fish. First good one of the day. I'm actually gonna see if this one weighs real quick here. Even though I don't wanna be like trying to do everything and I don't want people. There's a few people around, so let's see here. Let's see what this one weighs. Three pounds, eight ounces, three eight. Alright guys. Here we go. Let my mango makes a lot better. Ooh, good splash. There he is. Pretty good one too. Three and three quarter, probably. There's a lot of these guys in there. Don't do it, please. Not in pike, I don't know. Y'all call me out if it is. <laughs> Dude. One of the two. <laughs>
giant one. I mean, a whole bunch of them. Gosh. I mean, a freaking. I just switch up to a DT-16. That's a freaking big one. Five pounder. Eh, it's four and a half anyway. Okay. They were all big ones there too. Five two. Five two. What a freaking stud. Oh, I got it on my camera. Thanks a lot. Splash, splash. There's so many big waters now down here. He choked too. Just a thing. Two pounder though. I saw that one actually like crank my stuff live and you went and just went over there and tagged it. I am on your pike. Come on. Two pounder. All right, so we've had a decent morning so far. Um, nothing crazy, but it, you know it's been okay. So. We're just trying to now sort of look around a little bit more, try to expand on some of the stuff we have found. Um, it's really what it all comes down to, you know. I I still hear those smallmouth calling me in the back of <laughs> in the back of my dang thoughts, and I'm like, gosh, man, I want to I want to go do that, but man, I the predominant species in this place is is largemouth, and I'm not saying that I couldn't catch them, but I'm just like. Mm -hmm. Just not feeling it right now, so we're just gonna lock into this largemouth deal. It's 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 not fast, it's not furious, but you can slowly but surely get some bites. And I think that's sort of the game plan for the rest of the day. So we'll let Brody off here in a second. Take a nice swig of water, but don't go anywhere because I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Be a chesty view, and we're gonna see if we can't uh, find a skill. Alright y'all, so we just moved up here a little bit shallower. I feel like there's some groups out there on the outside edge, you know, like, and then I feel like there's some groups up here in the shallower stuff. I don't know if it's really a bluegill spawn or what, but there's, there's definitely, st I've seen some bluegill beds. I haven't caught them around the bluegill beds, but I think, you, know, you would think that's obviously one of the primary forages up here shallow. Um, and there are gobies in here, so that does change some stuff as well. And, and basically this is just a traditional little grass edge right here i'm throwing a swim jig and, and when i'm throwing a swim jig deeper this is like i'm in eight nine feet of water it's actually a four carbon it's like 14 pound savage floor carbon i'm going to go to the bottom and then i'm just like sort of pumping it i'm not you're not necessarily swimming it real high in the water column because that grass is only down there like four feet 
and so I'll let it pump. I'll, I'll sort of pop it around a little bit. You're almost like worming your jig through the grass. Is sort of what I'm doing. Um, this is a good technique. Just really, really about anywhere. I've, I've caught a lot of fish on it. But um, that's when, when you hear, like, when you hear like Tom on sore, like, which I feel like is like the grandfather of like swim jig fishing. Yeah, um, a lot of times he's actually doing this. He's not swimming it like you see us like fishing around mats and stuff like pumping it as much. He's just sort of like popping around, swimming it, catching them like that. Right there. And that's exactly what you want right there. Just like that. Just like that. See, there's nothing in there. Let's see. out there we're filming we're filming right now I'm out here like running around a little bit will he's uh he's a subscriber to the channel and also he's gonna be coming out here and, and follow me tomorrow so that's always fun to have have uh ha have fans and and, and friends oh i just had a thing no it was a thing perch my bad but anyway thanks well i appreciate you dude yeah well, well, well hopefully we'll have some fun hopefully you don't hopefully i catch a few to make it a little more a little entertaining I'm always I'm always trying to anyway. That's awesome, man. Where are you from? After first thing in the morning, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely we'll be here in the morning. Good luck uh, tomorrow. Hey, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. And then uh, so tomorrow far. afternoon, I guess uh, we have a meetup. I think we have the meetup tomorrow. For I was gonna say, isn't it? I think it's like four to six or something. Yeah. somewhere around. Yeah, we'll have a whole so if you're out here, you yeah. know. Sorry, y'all. It's been a long couple of days. We ended up um, okay practice. I mean, I would say like better than average. Better than average. I feel like I have a, a plan. Um, I didn't find a ton of schools or groups, but I found a few. And, and now, you know, I'm, I'm middle of the pack as far as boat numbers. So we'll see if I can't get on one of them in the morning and, and see if we can't reel a few in, you know. Um, I did have an issue with my GoPro, so I apologize. It was more so just the fact of it overheating. Got really hot and still this afternoon. I wasn't catching anything, so there really wasn't anything to record. And then, bam, 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 bam. And I caught a few, and it was like, GoPro is not working. It's overheating. So, anyway, we're gonna go back to the house. I think, actually, I think we're supposed to grab some food. Frick. I think we're supposed to grab some chicken. All right, let me call up Mark. I got it. Mark's gonna go grab some chicken for us. Wind. A small mouth. Are you? Well, a small mouth. Oh, you were looking for one of these. A swim jig like that. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> see how he is. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, man, I completely didn't think about that. What? That's one thing that I did not think about is just rolling a swim jig, like like reeling a swim jig over that stuff. I don't know, bud. You yeah. didn't even fish for smallmouth. I did for just a minute. I caught, I caught, I caught, they're moving now. So we're closing out practice and overall I'm 
my V boys rate your practice scale one to ten. DC, we're starting with you first. I'm gonna rate Jacob's practice. It's probably a thirteen out of <laughs> ten. <laughs> I'm gonna say seventeen out of ten. I like him, bro. Is that even hey, a real I, I, deal? I love how you didn't even rate yours. You usually went straight to Jacob. Yeah. Let's go to Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> Seventeen out of ten. <laughs> you okay. talking about me? I'm just based off of Mark. We talking about Jada? Mark's practice, the way he's been moping around and stuff over here. Eight out of ten. Ooh. That's my practice. Eight out of ten. Oh, it's hey, not hey, eight out of ten. Good. My practice, three out of ten. Man, hey. it is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mark? We, we talking about Kai Yuga, man. All right, let's talk about our know, own. Man. So, Mark, I'm going to start with you first. DC I did, not, I did not have a great practice, man. I had a, I had a decent practice. Uh, I'm going to give you all just one word to sum up my practice. Yeah. And that word is random. Yeah, random. random. There's a lot of bass in this place, but it's a lot of them are random. Man, yeah. random, bro. I don't like random. Yeah, yeah. I just, no, uh, makes it tough. So your scale one to ten is. Oh, you know, you know, when you're a kid, a five? you gotta learn how to follow directions in school. Right. Okay. So the term is random, but the rating is gonna be uh, five point eight. So it's an average practice. Yeah, a little, little. Uh, yeah, he about five point five. He he's he just, 5 just a smidge above average. Yeah, he, he, he so Mark catches him pretty good, day in and day out. I saw. I mean, the average in practice is not bad. Not bad. So not yeah. a tournament winning practice is what you're saying right now. You no, got to I don't feel like I found anything that that it could potentially win. But you know, usually when you win, those things kind of develop. Yeah, I would agree. The term. I so, would agree. So there's room hey, for improvement. So we, we we got room for growth. I'm gonna rate DC's practice. I'm gonna give him a. I'm going to rate DC's practice. What are you going to rate it? No, no. I'm, 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 I'm hey, you can rate mine at 17. I'm going to be like legitimate. Hey, nobody rating their own practice. I'm going to rate DC's practice as a 7 out of 10. Above average, but not like unbelievable. Like he's like, he's going to still figure some stuff out in terms. So I think he's a 7 out of 10. Not amazing, but not crappy. Do you agree with that, DC? <laughs> uh, what was my practice today with you? I'm not saying nothing. Is that seven out of ten? Of Tell me yes or no. I, I, it, was it better than a seven? I give it an eight, eight point five. Okay, eight point. <laughs> I'm gonna go with five. Eight point five. Whoa. Okay, it was eight point five. Okay, here's the deal. You have to understand we're at one of the best bass fishing places. Yeah, Kayuga. 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 Okay, Kayuga's got them, dude. He and, definitely and does. Guys, they caught a state record smallmouth here. Um, I, I don't think. Okay, here, here's the thing. I'm going after both species, okay? So I can catch largemouth or smallmouth. I say I can catch maybe. No, I mean, you don't, you, since I'm going after both species. Yeah. I, I feel like I can generate a, a good amount of bites with smallmouth. Mm -hmm. I honestly, right now, can generate more smallmouth bites than I can largemouth. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. And that's facts. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody has really just got in their Locked heads. Locked in. Largemouth. Large everybody large has just, for the year, I feel like everybody has just really got in their head that Cayuga is largemouth dominant largemouth dominant but in the springtime everybody is like oh my god these giant smallmouth are on bed mm -hmm. but no one has cracked the code to catching these fish these guys are the best guys in the world with the with, with the forward facing sonar and all that and 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 i'm not saying that i have cracked the code or anything i just know those big smallmouth still live in here i caught like a few big giant ones yesterday and I feel like if you can get 10 of those bites, I mean, 10, 12, 15 bites, smallmouth, the oh, average geez. quality there is way better than largemouth. Tell me. Yeah. Like, if you can generate, and I, th I think you can generate that many bites, if you, and 15, you're going to have it, yeah. you can catch 10 to 15 bass doing that. Wee. That's Maybe like big, it's big the, the chance is out there, but yeah. also yeah. there's a chance with largemouth of you, like Mark. You said you had a tough practice. You may literally throw your crankbait on the right grass patch and catch 15 largemouth on that place. Right. Yeah. So there's, there's, there's an opportunity. There's opportunity. Yeah. There's a chance of that happening for sure. Okay. So so Mark, in the beginning of this video, Mark had set the cutway. Okay. Over under cutway at 46 pounds. 
Yeah. So it's ten. I think we said twenty bucks. I think maybe ten or twenty bucks. I'm trying to get paid. paid. I'm thinking that was so, like five. Now it might have been five bucks. It might have been ten bucks. So Mark, I'm gonna let you reevaluate that for an additional ten dollars. Hey, double or nothing. I don't want to say nothing, double or nothing. No, nothing's free. That's well, the, take, the take home it, message. At the end of the day, you're not gonna lose any money because we split. That's right. Fact. So 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 right. so we're gonna do a hundred dollars uh, on the next one. I'm gonna bump it up just a hair though. Okay. I say a hair, a few pounds. Just because. So, so you listen, got 46 was the cutway. After well, that's a great. That was a great number. guess. But off but after of the sampling rip. the lake, right? Yeah. It's different now. After you yeah, catch a few. Yeah, we, we've not we've not fished a big tournament here ever. Never. Yeah. So the quality of bass in this lake is unlike many places you don't see a lot of them six seven and eights yeah but them two and three quarter to like four and a half them just solid chunks they got them best average of large more than large without ever seen any like period end yeah. of story done no Real question tall, bro. they they come through when you catch one of them they come up they're like 16 you inches can, you can go two like hours on three, on three. yeah you can you can. Oh, hey. No, I mean, you can. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you can. I you mean, can. You never went two hours on a bike. Hey, but, but it like, can definitely happen. It can happen. It can. Facts. And, oh, especially if you're not, like, dialed in on a specific area, specific mm -hmm. spot. Here's right. what these got. Here's how they're going to catch them this week. Somebody is going to sit in an area and camp all day and catch whatever they can in, in a 100-yard stretch. Mm -hmm. And they'll go back and forth. I know how these guys fish. They're going to slow poke it, and that's what they're going to do. But that won't happen the whole week. That will not no. sustain. No. That but so they, they, might, they, might win, they might win the round like that. They'll slow poke it. Get but it. they might win the round, or they might make the cut. I'm not going to argue, but they will not be one like that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so Mark, you said you're going to upgrade it to 48? Yeah. Is it two pounds or three pounds? Yeah, 48. That's exactly what I want to do. It's 48 two pound, pounds. Uh, bump it up two pounds. That's 24 pounds a day. Or somebody go out and have a stellar day one and catch them 48 pounds. I think that's gonna be a safe number. I think. But forty eight pounds is the cut weight is what Mark says. So over under DC so forty eight pounds. Mm. Now DC did say under before at forty six. Forty eight pounds. So that's twenty four pounds a day. Mm. Mm, that's a toughie. I'm gonna say under. Under. Just for the, the yeah. fact that, that that's I, a, that's a good that's a good. I take. think it's gonna be a really top heavy tournament. Like you're gonna see the top like 12, 15 guys crush, but that lower end is gonna be struggling. We've had yeah. tournaments like that before. Yeah, oh, Saint Clair. I mean, you yeah, see the yeah. top ten that has 60, 70 pounds, and then it falls off forty pounds, thirty pounds, twenty pounds, and then like twenty fourth place last year that I was in it, it was like fifteen pounds. It that was, was that was the conditions too though. Exactly, but like yeah, but for the guys that find them, they absolutely destroy them. For the up. guys that, that there's half and half. Yeah. Half the guys are gonna find them. Half the guys ain't. That's just facts. Yep. And when you are not around them, you cannot catch them. Mm -hmm. You will not catch them. No. You can't stop. Won't stop. That's it. Okay, so DC says under. I'm gonna still say over just because. You gotta split I don't want I don't want Mark to lose any money. Yeah, man. See, I appreciate that, bro. Hey, you're even no matter what. <laughs> so, you might lose. Solid you friend. Win. Solid friend right here. Make me ten bucks. Well, you you're actually Is it a, ten, or I'm gonna break even. <laughs> that's all right. You just give me one of these. Hey, can't show that. What? <laughs> Ow. Anyway, so that's it. Mark says his practice has been a little bit above average. I'm gonna rate my practices like a. I'm gonna say 7.5. I'm gonna say eight. I'm gonna say eight. Oh, my practice was not better than yours. Mine was mine was a 7.2. I'm gonna say it's eight. You had a lot better practice. Than I had a I good practice. I had yeah. I had a yeah. mine a, was like a, a solid practice. You had a solid practice. So much that I didn't even record it on video because I was like, dang, wow. too solid. This is too good. This is to too put solid. on film. I can't. Show I can't even show this on YouTube Jake until the tournament. So. Make sure to watch. Oh, he's calling his shot, boys. <laughs> hey, hey, look, it has been over a year since he got a W. Uh -oh. It's been a minute. Hey. I don't know about that. that man's in a little drought. Hey, boys. <laughs> yeah, but that drought. Oh, boy. You woke, and woke him up. Hey, look, I got me a trophy. Uh, Jacob said, man, you ain't going to do that to war. Hey, look, I do contribute this to the end of time, and maybe I'm just patting myself on the back. I won Red Crest last year. He is not going to be one upped. This fool comes out, shoots, and wins three derbies <laughs> in a year and AOY. 
I lit a fire under his ass. Guaranteed. hundred percent. Here you go. Hey, look. Listen, he ain't put he's it out so check. Mad. Now he's back he with leading AOI points for yeah, the second yeah. second year in a row. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. put a fire. Take it easy, big dog. You did. Dang. Dunk. <laughs> hey, all right. On that note, we out.